morning everyone. I decided to do a little update on my IUD that I got a couple months ago. Like I mentioned in my IUD video, I had a follow-up appointment one week, one week later, about. So in my follow-up appointment, um, they checked my weight again and they checked, they gave me an ultrasound to see where my IUD is and make sure, making sure everything was all good down there. And so through that ultrasound, they did a bunch of measurements. I don't know what they're measuring down there, but they were doing, they were like doing stuff on the computer and like the ultrasound wasn't bad. It didn't really hurt at all. They kind of were just like moving it around in my vagina, but it was fine. And then afterwards, I went back into the waiting room and they like talked to my gynecologist about like what they saw in the ultrasound and stuff and then they brought me back and they said that my IUD was in like the perfect spot like it's not going anywhere and it's all good although you do have a cyst on the left side of you and we're just going to keep an eye on it so we're gonna have another appointment six weeks later to check up and see what the cyst is doing or if it goes away but we'll know more at the next meeting although I don't feel anything so it's I guess I'm fine <laughs> but six weeks later which was uh, last week exactly one week ago I had my follow-up from my follow-up appointment checking about the cyst so the same procedures, they checked my weight and everything, and then they did the ultrasound and checked where my cyst was, and if anything changed, they measured it again to see if it had grown or whatever. And unfortunately, it did grow just a smidge. So now I have an even bigger cyst of me that I can't feel, which I'm very glad I can't feel, but I'm also scared to death that it's gonna like rupture and I'm gonna be like in pain all day. So I'm holding off to make sure that that doesn't happen, but I also want this out of me because it seems like it's very dangerous. So they were saying how um, we'll have another appointment and this time I'm going to be meeting with like the head of the gynecologist person, I don't know, and she's going to take a look at me and see what she thinks my next step should be. So. My next steps could either be surgery, which would absolutely suck, but I guess they do that kind of surgery procedure often, so it's not like that bad, but it still sucks because it's surgery. Or hopefully it'll like go on its own and I won't have to worry about it. And if I'm in any kind of pain, I just call them and make an appointment and stuff like that. So, like, I'm kind of hoping that it goes away on its own, but since the last time it's grown, I'm not really sure it's going to go on its own, but my fingers are still crossed. They don't know what the cause of this is, but it might have been the IUD getting inserted. So, I don't know about that, but, I mean, I was perfectly healthy before. <laughs> But yeah, so now I have a cyst and you know, things are good, no. So I'm not really sure what's gonna happen, but later this month I have um, my appointment with the head of the gynecologist person. And hopefully she will be like, oh, it's actually gone down, you're good. But I don't know if that's, that's the news I'm gonna get. So I will definitely keep you guys updated on what happens next. Um, and if I end up getting surgery or not to get it removed But I really hope I don't Because <laughs> I don't want surgery So yeah, thanks for <laughs> watching this video And you know, I just want to help you guys out with the knowledge of getting an IUD Oh, yeah, I guess I should probably So I've had one period but it was a very 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 light and I I would be fine with wearing a panty liner, one panty liner through the entire, like every day throughout the entire period. It was very light and I also didn't even like realize it until probably like the second day because it was so late. 
So yeah, but I'm hoping, you know, I won't, I won't get any more periods, but we'll see. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'm sorry that it's been a while since my last video, but I promise to stay in touch and <laughs> do a video frequently now. And I'll see you all in my next video. Thank you.